welcome to another video on Anglesey. Now today we're fishing a rock mark on Anglesey and we're going to fish for bass um, which is something I have failed many times to bring to the channel but today we're just shore fishing, uh, we're float fishing for them and I'm relatively confident we might get something for you. We might also get pollock and wrasse at the same time, maybe a cold fish or a cod if we're very lucky but I doubt we'll get them doing what we're doing. Um, Mike's already down in the swim so I'm going to head down there now, see if we can get one out for you. Like a few of my last videos, this is a very different style of shore fishing to what I do back home in an estuary environment, and so it's really nice to get stuck into new methods and some stunning scenery. When I'm fishing like this, I tend to just enjoy being out on Anglesey, whether we catch any bass or not. Well, we're not going to bash yet, but we've picked up the first fish now, which is a ball and wrasse. Uh, that's not too bad of one from the shore, that won't be a million miles away from two pound. Uh, I'm not sure if this audio is coming out alright, if not, I'll put it in voiceover. But this isn't the target species, so let's get this one straight back, keep trying for a bass. But I'm optimistic. Mike's lost the fish too, um, so things are looking promising. One advantage of uh, shore fishing rock marks like this is there's always handy rock pools in it. doesn't hurt to recover your fish a little bit before you get them back. Obviously with me filming it makes life a lot easier, because I can keep them in these rock pools. Um, there's plenty of oxygen for a brief time. And then they're nice and healthy when they go back. Well, the rig is super, super simple. Standard saltwater float fishing tactics. Got a little bead onto my main line there, then I've threaded my float on. Just after that, I've got a ball lead there just to cock the float, and then under that you tie the swivel. And then um, my hook link is about three foot of, I think that's 20 pound fluorocarbon, running down to a, uh, in fact, I'll show you exactly what type of hook that is in case anybody wants to do this the exact same. That's what I'm using. Securement size one. And then all you do other than that is have a stop knot up on your line to mark your depth. Um, can't really give depth advice, depends on the mark and how you want to fish. We're pretty near the bottom, which is why we're picking up the wrasse, and I'm fishing at about eight foot depth. To fish like this effectively, you have to mend your line like this and constantly adjust your float's drift so you're at a good distance out for the depth that you set at and to reduce slack line between the rod and the float. Really, you have to keep hold of the rod most of the time or you're likely to miss a take. Also, it's important to regularly check your prawn as it can easily come off in weed or by a missed bite. I find that float fishing prawns is quite a visual way of fishing and I have more confidence when the water clarity is better, such as on this session. Second fish hooked up here. Hoping it's a bass. Uh, I think he's called it as a wrasse. Yeah, that's a wrasse. <laughs> I'll show you this fish. There we are, nice little ballon wrasse, lovely green colour on that one. Get him back straight away. So this is the drift we're doing, it's dead simple. We're just casting out to this way and letting the tide just drift us along the rocks. Um, and it's produced a few wrasse so far and hopefully it's going to produce a bass. 
Some anglers think they spell bad news for the fishing, but we always enjoy watching these harbour porpoise hunt mackerel while we wait for a bite. Straight up in the middle of that bait ball, that was a bit. Whoa, yes! Little oh, baby pollock. Just as it starts getting a bit darker, these sometimes come on. Another one. Another ass. Another ass. As usual, Mike providing most of the content for my videos because I can't catch any bass myself. Well, we've got a seal down to our right and porpoise running around the, the point of this island here and there's us casting bass rods out in the middle like a pair of plonkers desperately trying to catch your bass but you never know well unfortunately guys that is it we're gonna go home we didn't get a bass but I did manage to get some fish for you uh, luckily Mike caught a few I got a nice wrasse so we'll head home not on a blank and I will continue the bass mission on another session thanks for watching and I'll see you next time